Have you ever stopped to think about which is the most beautiful deep sky object in the night sky? Or which one is the most photographed and still continues to fascinate us year after year? Not? So today I will share my opinion with you. Hello and welcome to the Astronomina's channel, I am Fabio and in today's video we will talk about the Orion Nebula, one of the most photographed and shared deep sky object image. The Orion Nebula is located about 1,700 light years away from the Earth, in a region easily recognized by all of us, popularly called the Three Marys these three bright stars are nothing more than the belt of the Orion's constellation, the hunter of the Greek mythology. Next to him we find the three other smaller stars, which are part of his imaginary sword. The middle star of this world is the Orion Nebula. The nebula is catalogued as Object 42 in the Messier catalog, and is so bright that it was long referred as the star Theta Orionis. Only in the year 1610, it was finally identified as a nebula by the astronomer Nicolas Claude Fabre de Peiresc. It is one of the most studied nebula in the night sky because it is a region of intense star formation activity with abundant presence of gases such as hydrogen, oxygen, and stellar dust. Perhaps the fascination caused by the Orion Nebula is due to its very exotic colors, varying between blue, violet, and red, which contrasts with clouds and dust streaks that spread across the region due to the action of stellar winds. Photographing the Orion Nebula is not difficult. We can even use a DSLR camera on a fixed tripod and still get good results. The biggest challenge is to capture the details without having the core's whites blown out, making the balance between gain and exposure time crucial to obtain the greatest detail possible. With a DSLR camera, the secret is to use a low ISO value, so the core is preserved. With a dedicated astro camera, the gain should be as low as possible to prevent this from happening. But unfortunately for us Brazilians, the best time to photograph the Orion Nebula coincides with our rainiest season, so it's not very easy to get the ideal conditions to achieve a perfect result. <music> That is what happened this weekend. After two weeks of cloudy and rainy winter, I had a small 90 minute window to photograph the nebula. The interesting thing is that I got this image by pure luck, as I was already going to bed when a sudden and unusual wind began to blow. So I opened the window and the sky was clearing. I ran to prepare everything and in less than 20 minutes I had the equipment ready. As I knew this wasn't going to last for long, I had to sacrifice a bit of the core to get the best overall composition. The strategy was to lower the ASI 183MC Pro again to 30% and keep the exposure time at 1200 seconds in each subframe and try to capture as many of them as possible while the winter allowed. In total, I captured 32 subframes of 1200 seconds, but only 21 of them were usable, because in the final minutes, the fog and high clouds made it impossible to continue. On the other hand, the captures were carried out exactly when the nebula passed through the zenith, with good air transparency. I lost a few minutes performing the meridional flip of the mount, 
but the final result pleased me a lot for a total integration time of just 42 minutes. It was lucky and risky to get this image of the Orion Nebula, as I was seeing lightning all the time on the eastern horizon, not far from here. Normally, I can go inside and follow the acquisition of images on the tablet screen, but due to the possibility of rain in the surroundings, I watched minute by minute the displacement of the clouds. The astrophotographer's life also depends on luck. On a night where the forecast was light and constant rain, there was just the right opportunity. It was almost three months of waiting and I finally got my best Orion Nebula's image to date. As improbable as things may seem, the happiest moments are those that happen by chance. The feeling of accomplishment and joy of reaching our goal when the conditions are adverse are much greater and true. I hope you like the final image of the Orion Nebula. I wish you all clear skies and see you soon.